What if I told you that just a team of 30 people built a tool that in six months is worth a billion dollars, and it might just make ChatGPT, Canva, and even your coding tools completely obsolete? Now, you'd probably think I'm exaggerating, and I thought the same thing until I actually tested GenSpark. Now, this is Silicon Valley hottest AI startup right now, and after using it, I understand why everyone is freaking out about it and why it's worth a billion dollars in just six months, which is absolutely crazy. Okay, so let me give you a quick description of what this actually is. Well, GenSpark is an all-in-one AI workspace that orchestrates multiple top AI models like GPT, Claude, Gemini, V3.1, etc. to deliver finished work. So it doesn't just give you text responses, which is something like ChatGBT, where in that tool it kind of helps you think and write, whereas GenSpark actually gets the work done for you. So it can do presentations, websites, branding assets, data analysis, you can collaborate with your team, and you can even get it to make a phone call for you, which is kind of cool, I haven't seen that before. And anyways, in this video, I will show you a detailed demo of how this tool works, but the main standout feature for me is that this actually acts like an entire AI workspace, so it can store files, download files, sort them for you, and it kind of has like its own drive, which makes it really interesting and it makes it feel like a workspace more than kind of like an assistant that you just come to randomly when you need something done. Anyways, let's get on the computer and let me show you what it looks like. So I'm on the computer and I've got the GenSpark website open. Now you can just simply go to this URL right here, genspark.ai, or click the link in the description to check it out. Now this is free, and full disclosure, I did team up with them for this video. They gave me a briefing, kind of covered some of the main features of the product, but genuinely, I do believe this is super, super cool, and you can use it for free. In fact, I haven't even upgraded the plan because I haven't needed to so far with the credits that I have. Okay. Anyways, let's start going through it. So the first thing that is really interesting about this is that like I said, it works like an entire workspace. So it can actually store, download, automatically find files for you, which I find makes this a lot easier to use. So you have these different hubs. Within these hubs, you can store different files. You can kind of organize things just like you would have a folder or kind of like a separate Google Drive or something. And you can see I just created a few inside of uh, my GenSpark here where I have like code and development, you know, my tech with Tim stuff, sponsorships, legal and accounting. And then they also have this AI drive. So from the drive, you can see that I've worked with a bunch of different files here because I've been testing around with it. It's automatically downloaded these files, created the folders and sorted them for me. And I can kind of click into here and see all of the different files that it's been using. And also use some of the tools that I've, obviously I can organize it myself, you know, create new folders, etc. But generally it's pretty cool. So let me show you what I mean. What I'm going to do is just go to the main page here. I'm going to go to kind of their super agent. This is just like the general agent that you can use. And I'm going to type in a few prompts and show you how it utilizes the hub and the drive. Because again, I think that's one of the more standout features of this platform. Okay, so I've just got a prompt here. I'm just going to say download photos of Tim Rasika. That's me or tech with Tim from the internet and store them for marketing and assets later. So let's go ahead and press on enter. And when I do that, it should be able to actually find these files and download them for me. And you can see it's doing that. So it just went on Google, searching all of the different thumbnails and files of me. Look at that pretty face. And we'll wait a second here and it should actually create them in the directory for me. So you can see here that it just told me that it has the download summary. It stored it in this folder and then it gave eight photos for me. Obviously, if I wanted something specific, I could ask for that. But if I press into this here, it's going to bring me into my AI drive. And then you can see the different photos that it's decided to download. And then the cool thing for me is because all of this is in the drive that the AI always has access to, it can just use these in the future without me having to manually upload the documentation or kind of sort through it like I would with some of the other tools. Now, another interesting feature that GenSpark has here is like AI documents. And in fact, if you go to new, you can see like all of the stuff that it's able to do like photos, clips, podcasts, videos, fact checking, calling, translation. So I'm not going to go through all of that. But if I ask it to do something like research dev launch mentorship and create a comprehensive document explaining it, you know, find the members, testimonials, etc., then you'll see what will happen is it should bring me into kind of an AI document editor where it generates kind of all of the information, gives me like, you know, a templated doc with what it thinks I want. And then I can do direct edits on this document in kind of a separate workspace. So let's wait a second here. I assume that it's going to do that for me. And then I'll show you what I mean. So like I was talking about here, it's now generating the document for me. It's using this doc generate tool. It looks like it has some like HTML or CSS going on in the background. And once that's done, it will open this in the AI docs view for me. And I'll be able to, again, kind of modify it directly like document rather than having to go back and forth in the chat window like you kind of usually have to do if you work with something like ChatGPT. 
So like I said, I've got this button now, edit in AI docs. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on that. It's gonna bring me over here where I'm able to change all of this. So I have like the document editor. So of course I can highlight this, change the text. And then if I want, I can go back and forth with the agent writer, the model here and ask it directly to make changes. But as you can see, as I go through here, it looks pretty good. It's got the price of the program. It's got the testimonials that it found, has these. Nice, and they kind of looked up even things like the information on Trustpilot, for example, and all of that other stuff. Okay, so let's go back here to the kind of super agent. So just go back to this page, and I wanna show you this feature here, which is the personalization and the auto research feature. So I already did this previously, but if you press, let's go out of it so you can see the button this one right here, the one that looks like kind of a person logo, you can actually put in all of this information to give it some context. So anytime it's giving you responses, it kind of knows who you are, how it should reply to you, etc. Now what you can do is use this auto research feature where you just put in something like your LinkedIn URL or your name, and then it will just go to the internet, research you, grab the context and use that. So let me put in my LinkedIn and see what it comes up with. All right, so this is my LinkedIn here. You can see, you know, it has all the posts and stuff. Okay, all my experience. And then what I'll do is I will just paste this in here and go auto research and see if it can generate that information. So it was able to generate a bunch of this information. You can see it found like I'm a YouTuber, entrepreneur, you know, software developer, et cetera, et cetera. And then I can just press this button, make it more personalized. It will fill all of this in. I can save the information and then I'm good to go. And it now has all of this context when I start chatting with it. Okay, so I think that's all good. Now what I'm gonna do is just go back here to the home tab and I wanna start walking through some other features that this has. So if we press on this button right here where kind of my integrations are, you should just have some tools. It should give you the ability to add some tools. So I'm gonna to go to add. And I know a lot of you watching this are developers. So I wanna cover some of the developer tools that it has. Now, if we scroll down, you can see that you can actually directly connect to Supabase. So if you are using a Supabase database, you're using that for auth or something, you can directly connect to it. You also can connect to all of these different MCP servers or your own custom MCP server by just putting in the information right here. So you have obviously that flexibility if you wanna use this for like a developer tool, but you also can get out of this. You can go to new and you can go to the AI developer. Now, once you open the AI developer, you're gonna be brought to a page that looks like this. Now, this is pitched as kind of a easier to use version of something like Cursor or more of like an AI IDE. This is not trying to replace, you know, all of the manual coding, but if you just wanna get something done quickly, you don't really wanna to have to write any code, you wanna be able to see the preview directly in your browser, then this is definitely the way to go. So what I'm gonna do is just go with a simple website or web app for right now. I'm gonna go with start building, and I'm gonna give this a prompt to just generate kind of like a lead magnet or a landing page. So one of my previous videos, I actually had a roadmap for like a Python developer roadmap. And I told you guys, okay, if you sign up for my newsletter, for example, you can download the roadmap for free. So what I'm gonna do is just ask it to kind of generate that where it creates like a simple website where you can press a button, you know, enter your email, and then you'll get access to the Python developer roadmap. And we'll see if it's able to actually push that up. Now, like you'll see, you can have, you know, full stack application connected to a database, auth, all of that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna try something simple and you know see how that works. Okay, so I've got a prompt that I wrote previously here and I'm just gonna paste it in that essentially says, hey, I wanna create a single page lead, mag lead magnet website story for the brand Tech with Tim. Now, because it knows who I am now, because it has all the context and it's downloaded a bunch of those files to the AI drive, I'm hoping that we get kind of a more personalized website here that matches with my kind of theme, brand, et cetera. Now, of course, you can change all of the models here. So if you wanna use GPT-5 or something, you can do that. I'll just leave it on 4.5 for right now because generally that's like the best general purpose one. Okay, so let's go ahead and press on enter and let's see what we get. Okay, so it's been like two, maybe three minutes here. Just generated the site for me. You know, it's not perfect. There's a few things I would wanna change, but generally it kind of covered what I wanted. You know, everything you need to master to Python. You can put in your email, get the roadmap. If I built this with a full stack app, I'm pretty sure I would be able to add some integration in there for that to work. But in this case, it's just the landing page for right now. Has some information about me, which is accurate. And then, you know, some more basic stuff. If I wanted to, I could go to the file explorer and I can see like the readme file, the HTML file. I could ask you to separate out the CSS if I wanted to do that. We have a database, but in this case, we're not connected to one, so we don't see it. And then if I want, I could publish this out, but I do need to integrate with Cloudflare here. So I just need to put in my API key because that's how that works. Pretty cool. And then of course I can pop this out into its own view and I should be able to just preview it in my browser. So let's let that load. And there you go. You can see it's loaded in the browser. We can test it out, you know, change the sizes, see if it's responsive, etc. 
Okay, cool. So let's go back. That's pretty much it for the AI developer. Again, just kind of higher level, a lot easier to use, much faster than if you had to write the code manually yourself. And you can choose those different options depending on what it is that you actually want to generate. So going back in here to the GenSpark Super Agent, I want to show you some of the productivity features that it has, which I think are quite interesting because it makes it very easy to integrate with things like Google Drive, Gmail, Calendar, etc. So if we have a look here at the tools, you can see that I've already connected both my Gmail, Google Drive, Google Calendar, and Notion. And I do have to say that it was very, very easy to connect those because some of the other tools make you have to download these API tokens and do this advanced authentication. In this case, you just like sign in with your account, press a single button, and you're good to go. Now you'll notice there's a bunch of other ones as well, like I showed before, if you go here to the tools. But for me, these are really the only four that I kind of mostly use on a day by day basis. So that's why I connected them. Now what I'm going to do is just show you a few sample prompts on how it can actually use these various tools to again, save you a bunch of time. So here's a prompt I have, you know, I'm working on some new ad copies for dev launch, read everything in my notion, find the feedback form from student surveys, open it up and help me write ad scripts, sorry for Facebook and Instagram vertical ads that touch on the pain points of my target audience. So let's go ahead and press enter there and see if it's able to access that information. I have a notion for all of my dev launch related stuff that has all kinds of documents, including the one that I mentioned here, which is feedback from the student surveys, because we ask all the students for feedback. So I wanted to read through all of that feedback and then kind of write ads based on what people are liking or you know address concerns that they have, et cetera. So let's see if it's able to do that. And it looks like it's able to open up Notion. I could view this. However, I don't want to leak any of the students' names or information, so I'm not going to show directly what it's finding. But we can see here that it looks like it found the student surveys page. It's going to read through all this information, and then we should be good to go. So it looks like it was able to generate these scripts for me. So what I'm going to tell it now is put these in an email to tim at techwithtim.net and send it. Okay, and let's see if we can do that. So you can see that when I did that, it actually opened up kind of like this email form or like this email UI for me. It's written the email for me. I can review it. Obviously, I can directly change something here if I wanted to. I could attach, you know, like a file. It says the information. And then if I want, I can go ahead and send this off. So let's press that. And then let me check my email and see if I received it. And you can see here that I received this email from the other email I connected, which was my dev launch email. And I have all of the scripts and then I could review them, reply to it, etc. Awesome. So let's go back here and let's keep talking about this AI inbox feature and kind of like the AI emails because that's super interesting. Now, GenSpark also has a more advanced AI inbox feature. I'm just showing you a quick video demo here where what it's able to do is manage your inbox so it can actually read the emails that you've received as well as send emails or even schedule them out to go live at a different time. So the demo you're seeing right here is just asking it to read through all of the different vendor quotes that it received, come up with the different negotiation strategies, create a slide deck and then send that back to our team members so we can see what we should go with. So just take a look here. You can see that it's generated this slide deck. This has all the information that it gathered from the emails that it read from this AI inbox. And you can see it has all the information, right? All the different vendors. And then we're able to ask it, you know, use these strategies, draft the reply back to the vendors with the negotiation strategy. And you can see that we're able to do that. And we have all these different emails that we can press send on. Pretty cool. You can also schedule it to send emails at a certain time every single day. A lot of interesting features and a pretty cool integration. Now, GenSpark also has an AI Teams feature, which allows you to collaborate directly with people on your team. You can add them right into your workspace, and then you can chat with them, and you can see the edits that they're making in real time. So just like you would have something like Google Docs, Google Slides, and multiple people can work on that, you can do that directly inside of here. So in your AI Docs, your AI Slides, or whatever it is you're using, you can chat with your team, you can make an edit, they can make an edit, and you can collaboratively work on the same document without sending it back and forth between each other. Super cool feature, hard for me to really test that, hence why I'm kind of playing the video so you guys can see it right now, because I don't have a teammate to work with, but it does exist and something that's really interesting. Now, lastly, I just wanted to quickly show you that they have this call for me feature. So if you go here and you go to call for me, um, you can set this up with your own phone number. and You can actually have it go and like call to make a reservation for you or cancel an appointment or something like that. Now, in my case, I'm not able to use it because I'm in UAE and all of the UAE stuff is blocked for doing something like this. Uh, but if you're in another country like US, that's super cool. You could just search for like, you know, a cafe you wanted to go to a restaurant. You can tell it, hey, call and make a reservation for me and it can literally just do that and then reply to you. You can also schedule the call at what time you want. Uh, and that's pretty interesting. I haven't seen any AIs have this feature yet. 
Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Wanted to give you kind of a high level overview of this Gen Spark tool. It is super cool. I like the fact that it's this entire workspace with all of the different tools in one single place. And while it's not a complete replacement for every single thing that you would ever use, generally speaking, it is a lot more convenient and I think just better designed than things even like ChatGPT because it has a lot more capabilities. If you guys are interested in checking it out, you can do that for free from the link in the description, and I will see you in another video.